You know, just feeling for those uh, folks out west, you know, we, obviously we had a little bit of drizzle here, or a lot of rain, yeah, actually. Well, we actually did have some good strong rains, but we had nothing like that. We don't have to worry about any kind of weather like that around here, but out in the west, they've got another system coming on in. They're expecting to see more rain showers, flood watches, flood warnings in effect all across Northern California right now. For our area, we are just looking at mostly cloudy conditions because of the fact that we didn't have the rains come until the latter part of the day, mostly after two o'clock in the afternoon is when we started to see the rain showers. 77 degrees was our daytime high after an overnight low of 52. So it was chilly last night and it is gonna be a little bit warmer tonight because we've got a shift in the winds and those winds will be coming in more out of a southerly direction and as a result of that, we're going to see our temperatures stay on the warm side. So we've got 66 degrees dew point, 87% humidity, and a temperature reading of 70 degrees with those winds coming in out of the south-southeast right now. And the rains are not over. We still have some showers out there. We've got one band that is well to the north of the Tampa Bay region. The second band has moved on through and is just plodding and taking its time moving across west central Florida. So these showers that we've been getting during the latter part of the day will continue to fade on off towards the east. We're getting moderate to light rains for the most part, nothing heavy, and you can see these showers are moving on in, breaking apart as they do so, and they continue to move off towards the east and southeast, and they'll eventually be coming to an end. Now, all of that dry air that we had on top of us, providing us those gorgeous days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's gone. Yeah, that's moved out into the Atlantic, and in behind, we're seeing all this moisture starting to sweep in across our area, so that's what we're getting. And what we are gonna see over the next couple of days is another opportunity for rain throughout the overnight time period tonight, and then we're gonna be looking at some fog during the early morning hours, and by the afternoon time period, any rains will be pretty much out of the way as this entire system sinks on down to the south and moves on out. So by Monday, things are gonna be clearing up and looking very nice. High pressure is in fact going to become more predominant for our area. And we do have this front that's gonna move on through the state. And what we are gonna be seeing is we're gonna be getting some possible showers for tonight. And then we're gonna get that morning fog, but it's going to lift and give us a beautiful day tomorrow. So we should be seeing very nice, comfortable weather over the next couple of days with those warm days ahead. Temperatures are gonna be getting back up to the upper 70s and 80s over the next couple of days. And if you're heading off to the beach, we're gonna see those sh winds shifting around when that front comes on through. We'll see southwest to northwesterly winds, seas one to two feet with a light chop. The temperature out in the Gulf is 69 degrees, but the air temperature is 78. So it's gonna be warmer tonight, possible showers, 66 degrees for the overnight period. And then tomorrow we've got that morning fog, temperatures back up into the upper 70s. And over the next several days, we'll see warm weather all the way through Wednesday. Dwayne?